All right, welcome back. We're gonna go and load the game. Um, we got a little bit coming up. Um, but yeah, we're gonna make do. We gotta uh, at least we get two caratans and something major is coming. So, all right, let's see where we left off. So last time we snuck back into the base after escaping it. Um, we have some C three. We're gonna blow some stuff up. All right, so we're going in here. kind of blend in with these guys so that's a kind of a plus here but still want to smoke cigarettes so that I can make sure all right guys some bullets Make sure I got everything uh, set up. I don't know why I'm actually. I did it with this easily. Okay. Yeah. Oh! 
think that's everybody. my leg. Alright, make sure you get that frog before you put that last piece down. this time. <laughs> Major, I finished planting the C3. I'm on my way out now. Hurry, Snake. Is Eva taking care of the escape route? Yeah. Are you sure? She can handle it. All right, then. We'll hurry up and get out of there. That timer does mean something. We're not going to really worry about it right now. I will explain it.
This woman was found snooping around my underground vault. When she was captured, look what we found on her. The Philosopher's Legacy. This microfilm contains all the information regarding the Legacy. You might say that this film itself is the Philosopher's Legacy. It was the smell that gave her away. No, not the perfume. It was gasoline. Motorcycle gasoline. She reeked of it. To think that lovely Tatiana was a spy. We found this radio along with her too. Such a fine woman she was. It almost pains me to have to kill her. <laughs> yes, she was an obedient one. She was my precious little pet. Ah! Isn't that right? <laughs> what was that? Do you have something to say to me? Go to hell. Enough kisses from you. I should have known. Sokolov wasn't man enough to have a lover like that. Just like the KGB to send something so beautiful, yet so deadly. What is the philosopher's legacy? Very well. I'll explain it before I kill you. During the last Great War, the most powerful men in America, China, and the Soviet Union had a secret pact. The pact was a blueprint for defeating the Axis powers and creating a new world order. To secure victory in the war, the three countries pooled their resources to conduct the most covert types of operations and research. The atomic bomb, rocket technology, the Cobra unit. And they amassed an enormous sum of money to fund these projects. Enough to fight the war five times over. That wealth is the philosopher's legacy. After the war was won, the three countries were to divide the philosopher's legacy amongst themselves. This explains why the United States and the Soviet Union were able to steal away the best scientific minds in Germany as soon as the war ended. But our great motherland has far surpassed its pathetic rivals. We possess enormous wealth, the most advanced technology, and overwhelming power, assets fitting of our great country. My father was one of the men in charge of managing the philosopher's legacy. In the confusion that ensued after the war ended, he devised a series of ingenious plots to ensure that the Soviet Union would have total control over the legacy. The money was divided up and laundered through banks all over the world. Switzerland, Australia, and Hong Kong. This microfilm contains a record of all those transactions. After my father's death, I learned of this secret and obtained the microfilm. <laughs> With this money and the support of Brezhnev and his allies, I built this fortress of Groznygrad and Granin's research facility. But that worthless fool Granin failed to produce results. I was forced to turn to Khrushchev's dog Sokolov and his invention. 
the Shagohard. Shagohard. My position in Gru made it too troublesome to attack Sokolov's facility directly. But the spy network established by the secret pact still existed. I used it to contact the boss and suggested that she defect. The boss was conniving enough to see things my way. The world was once won, but the conflict between the philosophers has torn it in two. We will use the legacy to heal that rift and make the world whole again. Huh. To do this, we need strength, an unstoppable trump card with enough power to bring order to the world. That trump card was to be the Shago Hod and the Cobra unit. However, the Cobra unit's dead. I have lost the Cobras. But I still have the Shagohod and the legacy. There is nothing America can do to stop us. Boss, take this someplace safe. Take good care of it. He wouldn't have come waltzing back in here unless he had a reason. The C-3's been stolen. He must be planning some sort of sabotage. I'll go see if there are any surprises waiting for us. I'll dispose of her as well. Fight like a warrior, Volgan. But of course. Let me face him. I've been waiting for this moment. Time to get even. Ah, uh, no more judo and no more field strips. You do too much. Enough of this. He's mine. You will stand right there and watch. Got it? Please, Colonel, let me- Silence! for the delay. Let's get started, shall we? All right, I got a lot to go over here. I might die. I want not. It's 
just you and me now. And I'm going to enjoy this. That's your clue. This is an easier fist fight than it is a shooting fight. There's a bunch of things I need to go over. Um, so he has five attacks. Right? He's got punches. He throws thunderbolts. He has electro bullets. Um, phase two, he'll start doing a barrage of bullets, which is a little bit harder. And electro sweep, uh, which doesn't happen often, but can hurt. Okay? Um, basically, he's an electric Pokemon. I actually like that description. I think that fits him pretty well. When the screen is blue, um, he's electrical. When it's not blue, that's when you attack. Uh, you're going to use a lot of CQC, okay? Um, if you're trying to kill him, it's a little bit harder because you're going to knock him down and then shoot him twice and then knock him down, shoot him twice, knock him down, shoot him twice till he dies. With um, Trying to take him out not shooting him or killing him is a little bit faster because you can just kind of choke him <laughs> and slam him and choke him and slam him and choke him, right? Um, you can wear the Rykov mask and it'll actually have a really funny moment. I'm not going to do it because it's a little bit... I might, actually. Uh, he'll freeze for a second and then on the other side of the bridge in the middle of the stage are water pipes that you can shoot that will turn off his electricity and stun him. Stun grenades work as well. Um, during the fight, uh, Ocelot will throw ammo if you run out, okay? Uh, what else? If you use knockout handkerchiefs, you can beat them pretty quickly as well. They work pretty good on him. Uh, you throw a glowing mushroom at him. Uh, apparently they hurt him. Uh, you can also use a gun, like an AK or a Patriot that shoots really, really fast as long as you have a fast reload because you'll actually break his shield and start to hurt him, okay? Um, with a Patriot, you can beat him before he actually does anything. Um, you can also use a Rykov mask and then plant TNT in front of him. Each time zero is pressed, one blows up, taking away a huge amount of health. Seriously, it takes like four or five hits. We're going to fight him, but first... Let me go ahead and put on the right outfit. We'll go with no paint, but we're going to go with, just because I think it looks kind of cool, we're going to go with a sneaking suit. Get that real quick. All right. The time limit. I never get my...
happen. He got something in there. Hmm. do that. What do you mean you can't? I made a promise to the boss. Silence! I am your commanding officer. Fight like a man, Volgin. Oh. Volgin? Emergency. Explosives have been detected. All non-EOD personnel must evacuate immediately. Ocelot, find those bombs! Repeat, explosives have been detected. All non-EOD personnel must evacuate immediately. Move it! Huh. You shot me in the foot. sure why I threw it, but okay.
probably gonna lose. I thought he liked the Russian. Them, dude. Oh, it's because of my uniform, stupid. I don't even need to watch this again. myself. Oh, he shot me in the head. Alright, there was more.
to grab that. This will help us in this next scene, so I'm going to go to put it on now. We're beating him without this. Without it, you get the Cold War thing, which... While you're running away from... Running towards people, they won't shoot at you. When you're running away from them, they will. So, we're going to go to use that for the moment. I'm actually going to stop it right here. Uh, because we're about to get another long scene. It's already been 39 minutes. So, until next time, guys. Adios, amigos.